Finding or deciding on your niche may be one of the most important things you can do if you want to sign clients consistently. And many times, it's the most challenging thing for coaches and healers to commit to. What's up? This is Melissa, and welcome back to the channel. I'm here with the info you need to get the results you want, because today I'm about to break down my simple three-step process on how to find the best possible niche for you once and for all. This will help your dream clients find you because you'll be able to stand out as the expert in your industry. When you don't know the niche that you serve, you end up struggling to get clients consistently. I'm sure you've heard that when you try to serve everybody, you serve nobody. It's true because then those people, those everybodies, they don't even realize that you're the authority in your space because you're claiming a really big space. Today, I'm gonna help you claim that space so you'll stand out and be known as the expert in your industry. And when you stay until the end, I'll show you how you can get even more specific with your niche for good, because when you niche down, you rise up. But first, if you're new here, I'm Melissa Jakubovic, and I'm an online marketing strategist and business growth expert to coaches and healers. My whole channel is about marketing, online business, mindset, and manifestation. Hit that subscribe button and join the family so you can grow a profitable online business. Now, let's get into it. Have you ever heard that the riches are in the niches, depending on how you say this word, niche or niche? But it's true, the riches really are in the niches. You wanna be a big fish in a small sea instead of a tiny little fish in a giant ocean because then you're not going to be seen and you're just like everybody else. So you wanna specialize. That's what niching down does. It helps you specialize. So for example, I am an online marketing strategist to coaches and healers. I'm not an online strategist for real estate agents. I'm not an online strategist for dentists. There are other marketing strategists that can help with those niches. But because I'm niched down to coaches and healers, coaches and healers know that they can come to me and trust me with the best possible information for them and strategies for their business specifically. I have specialized. Now, I didn't start out this way. In fact, I started out with online marketing for health and wellness, which is actually really big. Health and wellness, I helped orthodontists, I helped acupuncturists, I helped massage therapists, I helped functional medicine doctors, I helped coaches, I helped healers, but all of those industries are a little bit different, which means that every time I did work for them, I had to recreate the wheel. I wasn't able to come up with a system that just made it easy for me to serve my clients and easy for me to take on more clients and scale. So this might not be something that you're ready to do because you might first be starting out and you're not sure where to go, but think of what interests you most, what gets you most excited, and find a niche and start there. And this can evolve over time as your business evolves. That's what happened to me. So I took a bigger niche, health and wellness, and slowly over the years was able to realize it's coaches and healers. And don't feel like you have to take on the entire market. You can't take on the entire market. You can't help everybody. So there are other online marketing strategists and business coaches who help realtors or who help corporate companies. And I'm gonna leave it to them to go help those people. I'm gonna stick to the coaches and healers. So think about what you do and who you help and let everybody else who does what you do help a different sub-segment of the market. Okay, so there are three steps to figuring out who your best niche is. Step one, is to determine which type of coach or healer you are. And we're gonna go through examples. Step two is to narrow down what you teach on. And step three is to decide who you want your message to reach. Okay, so step one is basically who are you? <laughs> who are you? So let's do an example for coach. For example, you could be a life coach, you could be a love coach. Maybe you are a health coach. These are three different types of coaches. So you wanna determine what type of coach you are. Are you a life coach? Are you a love coach? Are you a health coach? And of course, there are millions of others to choose from. That's step one, determine what type you are. Step two is to narrow down what you educate on. So for example, a love coach might coach people on finding love after 40. Or they might coach millionaires on how to find love. So like a matchmaker for a millionaire. Alternatively, they might help already married couples 
find deeper love and connection in their partnership. So step one was determining your type and now step two is narrowing down what you teach on. Am I gonna teach millionaires how to find love or 40 year olds or maybe people who are already in love how to get a deeper level of love? So for a life coach, for example, maybe they help overcome overwhelm. Maybe they help someone with creating boundaries. Perhaps they help people with time management. Now remember, we want to get really specific here. So if you're going to look at this and go, but I help people with all of those. Okay, but just for this, let's just pick one. What are you best at? What do you want to be known for? Because people are going to come to you when they have that specific issue. And let's do one more with coach, a health coach. Maybe they're helping people who are gluten free. Maybe they're helping people lose 100 pounds. Or maybe they are helping bodybuilders win their next competition. You see how those are three very different things. There are so many health coaches around. A health coach can help someone become gluten free. That's gonna look very different. Their program's gonna be very different than a health coach that is helping someone lose 100 pounds or a health coach that is helping a bodybuilder win their next competition. So step two was narrowing down what you teach. And we'll do this for a healer afterwards. Hey, before we continue, do me a favor and go ahead and tap that like button right now because it lets me know that you find value in my content. And it really makes a huge difference and then I know to make more of these types of videos for you in the future. Many thanks and I'm grateful for you. Okay, let's hop back in. And step three is who will your message reach? So let's go with the life coach here. And that was step one, determining our type. We'll go with our life coach. Now we need to narrow down what you teach on. So let's say we're gonna go with time management. And now step three is who will the message reach? So time management can be for moms with toddlers at home, moms with toddlers at home. Moms with toddlers running around their house definitely need help with time management. But maybe you want your message to reach empty nesters. That means that they already have people who went off to college, their kids are gone, and they don't really know what to do with their time. Maybe they have too much time and they need to be able to manage their time to be able to actually do things. That's gonna look very different than toddlers running around. Or maybe we can teach time management to adults who have ADHD. Again, gonna look very different than empty nesters and moms with toddlers. So to make this simpler, I want you to think of step one as who you are, step two is what you teach, and step three is who's it for. So now for my niche, I could say I'm a life coach to adults with ADHD and I help them with their time management. Or I could say I'm a life coach to moms with toddlers at home and I help them create boundaries. And that's how you do your niche. Now I wanna do it again, but this time for a healer so you get some practice and understanding and hopefully the ideas start to flow. Okay, so now let's do this example as a healer. Let's say you're an intuitive or a medium. That's one type of healer. Another type of healer could be that you are a hypnotherapist or perhaps you are a Reiki master. Okay, so that was step one. Determine which type of healer that you are. Who are you? Are you an intuitive? Are you a hypnotherapist? Are you a Reiki master? Are you an EFT tapper? So on and so forth. Step two is to narrow down what you teach on. So we can use an example here for an intuitive. Maybe we wanna to speak to past relatives. You can say I'm a medium that speaks to past relatives. Maybe you are a medical medium where we can look inside your body and figure out what health issues you may have. Or maybe you're an oracle who does business readings and we can tell you about your business and what to expect from it. Over here for hypnotherapy, maybe you do womb regression, maybe you heal childhood trauma, or maybe you help people stop smoking. We'll do one more with Reiki. Maybe you help people reduce anxiety. Maybe you work with weight loss or maybe you help with drug addiction. So there are lots of Reiki masters and there are lots of topics they can help on. You don't need to help everyone with every topic. Same with hypnotherapists. 
and same with intuitives and mediums. So let's stick with our intuitive and mediums. So that was step two, what do you teach? And let's go with the medical medium, okay? And let's see what does step three, who will this message reach? Who is it for? Well, a medical medium could help moms who are struggling with infertility. They could help cancer patients or they can help doctors solve cases. So three different things that they could teach. So we say, step one, who you are. I'm an intuitive medium. Step two, narrow down what you teach. I teach as a medical medium. And step three, who will your message reach? Well, maybe I help moms with fertility. So what I would then say is, I'm a medical medium who helps moms struggling with fertility. Now using the word medium twice makes that a little bit of a shorter, but you could say, I'm an intuitive who helps cancer patients through medical mediumship. Or I help doctors solve medical cases by being a medical medium. And that's your very specific niche. So tell me in the comments what's your niche because I'm very curious. Now here, this is our example with our coach, but again, you could have picked empowerment coach, you could have picked career coach, you could have picked any type of coach you wanted, and same with healer. You could have picked a spiritual healer or a crystal healer. So just to recap, determine the type of coach or healer that you are, narrow down on what you're going to teach on, what you're gonna talk about, what you're gonna educate your audience on, and who do you want your message to reach? Who are you speaking to? When you combine those three things together, you've got your niche. If you need help with narrowing your niche and you wanna really pick the absolute best one for you so that you can sign clients consistently, I highly recommend you check out my business kit called Niching Down to Rise Up, the art of increasing your income by helping less people. This kit is super affordable right now and I want you to grab it before the price goes up. So in it, I'll cover why you need a niche, the actions to take to narrow down your niche, my niche formula, how niching down rises you up, a step-by-step -step growth plan for after you claim your niche, and so much more. I'll pop that link in the description and make sure you grab it before I raise the price. And now that we took the preliminary steps to map out your niche, you'll need to know what to sell them that will make them absolutely want to buy. So go ahead and click this next video about how to create your signature offer so you can create exactly what your new niche wants.